Good morning everyone. Kapo ka Pilipino, magbasa na tayo ng ating sariling history book. History of the Filipino people by Agoncelia N. Guerrero. Today is 13 April 2023. History of the Filipino people selected references. Nandito lang tayo sa chapter 7. Basa. Selected references, chapter 7. Accounts of Filipino resistance to Spanish rule are found in scattered Spanish sources but have been conveniently collated in the Blair and Robertson volumes. The reports of Governor Santiago and other ranking colonial officials on the Magat Salamat conspiracy may be found in Blair and Robertson volume 7 as well as in Esteban de Marquina's conspiracy against the Spaniards insurrections of Filipinos in the 17th century in Blair and Robertson, Volume 38. Ferdinand VII's Ferdinand Decree of November 7, 1831 1831 Advert to Agrarian Uprising in the Hortas outside Manila and may be found in Blair and Robertson, Volume 40. The uprisings of the 17th and 18th centuries are discussed in the standard sources of the period written by Spanish chroniclers and officials. Juan de la Concepción, Historia General de Filipinas, Manila, 1788-92, Volume 22, Translated Excerpts, of which are found in Blair and Robertson, Volume 48, and Jose Montero A. Vidal's Historia General de Filipinas, Disti El Discrobim, Disti El Discrobimiento, De Dichas Islas Hasta Nuestros Días, Madrid, 1895, Volume 2. Being works written from the Spanish point of view, their analysis and interpretation should, however, be taken with reservation. There are numerous competent works on European liberalism and nationalism as well as their influences on non-Western societies. The following are especially helpful. Hans Kohn's Nationalism, Its Meaning and History, New Jersey, 1955. Jebronowski and Bimasley's The Western Intellectual Tradition, New York, 1960. Harold J. Lasky's The Rise of European Liberalism, London, 1962. Arnold J. Toynbee, The World and the West, London, 1953. And Cora the Boys Social Forces in Southeast Asia, Cambridge, 1959. References on prior supremacy in the Philippines cited in the earlier chapters are particularly useful here, but the reader is referred to two important sources. A good secondary source is Horatio de la Costa's Episcopal Jurisdiction in the Philippines in the 17th century. Philippine Studies, September 1954, while U.S. Scenic Document No. 190, Washington, 1901, entitled Lands Held for, Docum Lands Held for Ecclesiastical or Religious Uses in the Philippines, etc., contains reports on the innumerable powers of the priors in the Philippines. The Spanish point of view of the execution of the three priests Mariano Gomez, Jose Burgos, and Asindo Zamora, and the circumstances leading to it, is pre presented in Montero A. Vidal's work, Volume 3, Marcelo It's Del Pilar's La Soberania, Monaco, earlier cited. Manuel Artigas e Cuervas Los Sucesos, Los Sucesos, de 1872, Manila, 1911. Ante is Pardo, Ante is Pardo de Tavera's historical account in the Philippine census of 1903, Volume 1, are accounts from the Filipino point of view. Edmond Lao Chot's article published in Revue de, de Dux Mondes in 1887.
and Rebord des Ducs Montes in 1887 and translated by Dalmatia Martin in the historical bulletin December 1960 brings much to the support of the Filipino point of view. Plauchot was at the time of the Cavite affair a resident in the Philippines. Chapter 8 Readings for this chapter are numerous, some of which are either not available or are are difficult to come by. Only the most important are indicated here. For results life, Rafael Palmas Biogralia de Rizal English translation The Pride of the Malay Race by Roman Ozaita and Leon Maria Guerrero Juniors The First Filipino Manila 1963 are the best. For a short biography of Lopez Jaina, the best are Mariano Ponce's Graciano Lopez Jaina and Ephemerides Filipinas, Manila, 1914, and Jaime Cediveras Graciano Lopez Jaina Studio Biographical in the reissue in the reissue of the saw. The sources A. Articulos, Various, Manila, 1951. Anecdotes about Lopisaina are found in Jose Alejandrino's The Price of Freedom, Manila, 1949. On the life of Marcelo H. Del Villar, the following may be consulted if it Epifania de los Santos, Marcelo H. Del Pilar, Revista Filipina, Revista Filipina, John 1920. And Teodoro A. Aconcelius, Marcelo H. Del Pilar, A Challenge and a Symbol, Philippine Review, August 1944. And Magno Gatmaitans, Marcelo H. Del Pilar, 1850-1896, Quezon City Munoz Press, 1966. Del Pilar's pamphlets are difficult to come by, but some of them are reprinted in E. De Los Santos, as he mentioned above. Copies of La Solidaridad are now very rare, but a discussion of the periodical is found in Jesus Z. Valenzuela's History of Journalism in the Philippine Islands, Manila, 1933, and in Mariano Ponce's La Solidaridad in Ephemerides, Filipinas. For Masonry and its role, Chedoro M. Carlos, La Mason Masoneria, Filipina, Manila, 1920, is the best. This work was translated into English and published in 1955 under the Title Philippine Masonry. Chedoro A. Agosilio, The Revolt of the Masses, The Story of Unifacio and the Katipunan, Quezon City, 1956, was used heavily in this chapter. Chapter 9. This chapter, this chapter is to a large extent a resume of several chapters. Of Agoncillo, the Revolt of the Masses, for important references in bi bibliography of this book. Chapter 10. Bukos na siguro ito. Ah, okay na. Chapter 10. The substance of this chapter has been called from Agoncillo's The Revolt of the Masses and from Alolos, The Crisis of the Republic, Quezon City, 1960. On some documents concerning the Katipunan and its discovery, W. E. Ritanes Archivo del Bibliofilo Filipino Madrid 1891, Volume 3, is probably the best. Care, however, should be taken in reading the testimonies of the witnesses for they had been taken at the point of the bayonet. On the battles fought Manuel Sastron's La Insurrection in Filipinas, Madrid, 1897. Volume 1 represents the Spanish viewpoint. Most of Sastron's data were taken from newspaper reports gathered and published by R. Guerrero under the title Crónica de la Guerra de Cuba y de la Rebellion de Filipinas, 
Barcelona, 1896-1897. In five volumes, volumes 4 and 5, dealt with the revolution in the Philippines, a first had information on the revolution 1896-1898. His found in Carlos Ronquillo's Paghihimagsik ng 1896-97 is still in manuscript form. The documents on the trial of Bonifacio and others accused of sedition and treason are in the Philippine insurgent records, but an English translation is found in Chodoro A. Agoncillo, the writings and trial of Andres Bonifacio, Manila, 1963. On the Trosi of Biak Nabato, the best are Pedro A. Paternos El Pacto de Biak Nabato, Manila, 1910. And Fernando Primo de, Pera, de Riveras. And Fernando Primo de Riveras Memoria de Regida al Senado Madrid 1898. The documents on the trophy are found in the Philippine Insurgent Records. The events leading to the trophy and its final outcome are discussed in Agoncillo Malolos, The Crisis of the Republic. For the Filipino viewpoint, General Aguinaldo's Reseña Veredica de la Revolución Filipina, Tarlac, 1899, 1899, should be read. Chapter 11, the contents of this chapter have been called from Agoncillo. Agoncillus Malolos, The Crisis of the Republic, most of the sources are documentary and are found in the Philippine Insurgent Records. For Aguinaldo's version of his conferences with Prout Waldman and Dewey, see his Resignia Veridica. For the American viewpoint, see Dewey Autobiography, Dewey's at Autobiography. <laughs> New York, 1913, and Prats and Waldman's letters to the State Department in Senate Document Number 62, Part 155, Congress, Third Session. For eyewitness accounts of the Battle of Manila, August 13, 1898, CFT Millets, the expedition to the Philippines, New York, 1899. J.C. George says, Our Army. And Navy in the Orient, Manila, 1899, and the articles included in Marion Wilcox Harper's History of the War in the Philippines, New York, and London, 1900. Hanggang dito na lang guys, bukas na itong chapter 12 and chapter 13. Hindi pala basta-basta magkakapagsulat ka ng libro, napakaraming references guys. Ibig mo sabihin, babasahin mo pa lahat yung references na yun, di ba? Bye everyone, God bless.